All right, well, good morning again, seventh grade. We are continuing along here in lesson 3.4. Uh, we have three parts to this lesson, as we talked about. And this is the second part, part B. Factor out the coefficient of the variable term. Well, we need to make sure you understand what this word means, the coefficient. The coefficient is the number that's connected with the variable. So in this case, 1 half n minus 1 half, the coefficient is 1 half. And so then I'm going to say, okay, I have to multiply, or not multiply, I have to divide everything by 1 half. Well, 1 half n divided by 1 half is just going to leave me with n, okay? And then a negative 1 half divided by 1 half Anytime I take a number and divide it by itself, it's going to equal 1. So negative 1 half divided by 1 half is going to be a negative 1. And that's my final answer. All right, so let's go on to this one here. 5 plus 2.5q. Well, the coefficient is going to be this 2.5 because that's what's connected with the q. So I'm going to set up 2.5 and then my parentheses. I doesn't really matter because this is an addition problem if I keep it in order or not, but just for simplicity's sake, let's go ahead and keep it in order. I'm dividing everything by 2.5. So essentially, I'm taking five and I'm dividing that by 2.5. Well, I have to remember my rules of dividing decimals. I have to take this decimal and move it all the way to the right, making that number 25. There's no decimal in five, so I know that I put it right there. I take it, I move it to the right, that becomes 50. I'm now doing 50 divided by 25. I know that 25 can go into 50 two times, and that two times 25 is 50, leaving us with none left over. So. 5 divided by 2.5 is 2. 2.5q divided by 2.5, it just eliminates those, and we end up with plus q. All right, third example. 3 fourths p minus 3 over 2. Well, the coefficient is this 3 fourths, so that's what's going to go outside of the parentheses. When I take 3 fourths p, and divide it by 3 fourths, that just leaves me with P. That's gonna be important for you to understand as we get into solving equations and all sorts of other things in the future. Now I have to take this three over two and divide it by 3 fourths. I'll worry about the negative later. I'm gonna to need to remember that. But I have to take three over two and divide that by three over four. Well, I know that that has to become a multiplication problem 3 over 2 times 4 over 3. Well, I can cross-check the 3s, divide them both by 3, so they become 1. 2 and 4 can be cross-checked with a 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 over 1 equals 2. Negative 3 over 2 divided by 3 fourths equals 2, but it's a negative 3 over 2, so it has to be a negative 2, and it will read as 3 fourths times P minus 2 with the P minus 2 in parentheses. All right, we'll talk to you later, 7th grade. Bye.